So hello everyone, welcome back to another particular organic spectroscopy lecture series and this is class 5. So in our previous discussion, that is the class 4, we are talking about the uh, IR values of different functional groups and there you can find that uh, the different functional group have their different range where the peak has been observed. And due to the uh, and the reason of this range is there is a different factors is present in the particular molecule uh, which actually affects the IR value of the particular functional groups. So in this particular class onwards, we are talking about the different different factors that actually affects the IR values. So here in this particular class, we talk about the hydrogen bonding and the inductive effects uh, in details. So first uh, talking about the uh, hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is one of the key uh, factors that actually influence the IR value of the OH group as well as the NH group and the carboxylic acid OH group. So basically how that hydrogen bonding actually um, affects the IR value. So basically uh, hydrogen bonds is typically broadens the IR absorption peak due to the variation in bond strength. And Hydrogen bonding affects IR absorption frequencies by changing the bond strength and the dipole moment of certain functional group, such as it is the H2O molecule, for example. Okay. Uh, not only H2O, we can just take about this the alcohol molecule ROH. Now, what happens that if it is a, uh, present in that particular medium? Uh, mostly we can observe this is present in the water medium. So what happened that this particular hydrogen are actually show a hydrogen bonding with the water molecule and due to this hydrogen bonding what happened that this particular bond is getting elongated okay because of the hydrogen bonding and since the bond is elongated that means the particular force constant of this particular bond is decreased. And as we know that the new is directly proportional to the force constant. Since it is decreasing, that means the new value is also decreasing. So basically, this particular thing is written here also that mathematically that uh, new bar equal to 1 by 2 pi c root over k by mu. So that means. Uh, the presence of hydrogen bonding is typically weakens the bond that I already discussed by reducing the force constant, which is turned lower the vibrational frequency or wave number. Okay. Now, also, hydrogen bonding often increases the polarization of the particular bond by elongating the bond. That means, as I already discussed, that uh, this is the alcohol, and since this particular hydrogen is undergo hydrogen bonding with in other the water molecule or the molecule present in the medium then this uh, bond is become a polar in nature and also due to this polar that means the e is also a uh, q is a uh, charge is also increasing as well as the distance the bond length is also increasing due to the hydrogen bonding that means the charge and the distance is also increased that means the dipole moment formula mu equal to k uh, or d so that means the both are increasing that means the dipole moment is also increasing now here the dipole moment of this particular bond is increased by the charge separation as well as the polarization part however the dipole moment is increasing but due to the elongation the force constant is decreased and the, we know that the new bar that is a wave number is a direct relationship with the force constant that means the force constant uh, changing is favorable here and actually for that particular reason the bond strength is predominates due competitive process hence the ir value is decreased in the case of hydrogen bonding now in the case of hydrogen bonding, the peak are getting broadened in nature. And the reason of the broadening is spectra is that variation in hydrogen bond actually causes to the range of vibrational frequencies. And due to this dynamic bond fluctuation in length and energy, it's actually affect the absorption because as we know that IR value, IR, how the IR value is observed. 
like the ele IR electromagnetic radiation is actually absorbed in that particular molecule and the vibration is increasing. That means the vibrational transition has been observed. Now, since the dynamic bond fluctuation happens in presence of hydrogen bonding, so that particular uh, uh, group are actually absorbed different, different uh, uh, value, different, different wavelengths, or we can say different, different energy value of the particular uh, IR spectrum, and that's actually causing a broadened spectra, something like this. Okay, and also that hydrogen bonding cluster create multiple vibrational environment which actually broadening the band so this three reason is very important like if someone actually asks you that how, why the uh, oh spectra or, or the oh peak actually broaden in presence of hydrogen bonding medium then you can say this type of things okay so how actually this particular hydrogen bonding influence like uh, oh stretch is alcohol shift to the lower wave number around 3200 to 36000 centimeter inverse and become broader when hydrogen bond is present also in the carboxylic acid also strong hydrogen bond shift oh stretching to even lower wave number and creates a very broad absorption band as well as the nh stretching is amine and amide is also broaden and shift in the lower wave number because the force constant is decreasing that means the wave number is also decreasing now in this particular graph you can understand particular thing here that here you can find that the free oh is nothing but a sharp band whereas here the hydrogen bonded oh is actually having the lower wave number as well as the broadened spectra and here in this particular graph you can find the oh spectra is actually broadened in it so we can say here that this particular graph uh, is that particular group where no hydrogen bonding is observed this particular graph is that particular graph where the certain amount of hydrogen bonding is observed and in this particular graph we can say that there is completely hydrogen bonding has been observed there is a no free oh present in that particular graph so the, i think that this three particular graph is clear for you and the effect of hydrogen bonding is also cleared for you now let us talk about the other effect that is influenced by ir value that is the inductive effect now the inductive effect influence the ir spectral value primarily by altering the bond polarity and strength now how it is actually affecting like if the particular group contains a plus i group that means that plus i group actually donates the electron density towards the particular uh, compound or we can say toward the particular functional group which actually lowering the bond strength and decrease the wave number for example you can find here that this is the formaldehyde where the co stretching is 1750 now since here the uh, acetaldehyde here you can find that one ch3 is here that the ch3 is nothing but a plus i group so what happened that this plus i group actually is donates some electron density here and due to this uh, the electrophilicity of that particular carbonyl compound is decreasing that means the bond strength is also decreasing and that's why the wave number is also decreasing for the ketone itself you can find here that due to presence of two plus i group the electron uh, electrophilicity of this particular carbonyl car carbon is much decreased that means this is present in the partial bond something like this because this particular positive charge is now stabilized by the methyl group which is the plus i group and thus actually the uh, force constant in decreasing that means the wave number is also decreasing and the same phenomena has been reversed if the minus i groups are actually present that means if a minus i group is present that means the electrophilicity of the particular carbonyl compound is actually much increased and that's actually forced to uh, be in the double bond part to decrease the electrophilicity and thus the bond strength is increasing and the wave number is also increased for example here you can find that the ketone part or the acetone part here is the co stretching frequency in 1720 now if one of the methyl is replaced by the uh, 
CF3 group, that is the minus I group, you can see the drastical increase of the web web number because of this particular group. And if we replace the both group with the CF3, then you can find the web number is much increased. So this is the typical inductive effect uh, effects in the IR values. So here is the for example for you. Uh, so you have to find the new CO frequency value for the particular following. So just uh, solve this particular question and uh, write the answer in the comment section. So with this, we have to end this particular class. So I hope that particular class is uh, uh, you understand whatever I will discuss in that particular class. So do revise the all of the things and also I have uh, uh, put some question answers in the community tab. So uh, do solve that particular questions. So with this, we have to end this particular video. So thank you for listening.